Welcome, Stephen. Thanks so much for coming tonight. Um, could you tell me a little bit about your background as a um, programmer? Yeah, definitely. Um, so uh, I originally studied computer science and economics at Berkeley. Um, and then later on, I did also with, uh, became an instructor adjunct instructor at some of the courses over there. And then, um, yeah, so I was uh, doing software development at uh, Walmart Labs and also previously a crypto company. Um, and then so I built some of their trading systems and um, development work in that area as well. Yeah. Fantastic. And so do you want to tell us a little bit about the blockchain coding uh, bootcamp and what are you going to teach in that? Yeah, definitely. So um, over there, uh, I'll be teaching a lot of Ethereum uh, development. Um, so uh, creating dApps uh, with Solidity, utilizing uh, things like Truffle, Remix, and uh, things like that to create the dApps. Um, and then uh, later on in the curriculum, uh, I also want to like focus more on also other uh, blockchains and especially some new developments like uh, Grin is also quite interesting at the moment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so what, where do you think things are going as far as a blockchain? I mean, I think it's so important for programmers to actually have mm. a bit of experience with mm. um, being able to program. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I think uh, at the moment, it might actually be the building out use cases of cryptocurrencies. Um, like I've seen a lot of new uh, use cases for cryptos, um, like more recently, it was Grin developing a better private token that, um, that's more scalable than Monero. Um, and then I think in the future, in uh, developing countries, crypto might play a larger role. Um, actually, uh, some of the people I know that are in um, South African countries, they, uh, they're trying to accept Dash, but it's still quite... Uh, Still a little bit difficult, just because of the uh, they wanted to get it back into pesos, and then um, so I think there's probably going to be a lot of opportunity in that space. Yeah, and and people doing the blockchain coding uh, bootcamp. What will they come out with? What will they be able to do at the end of that course? Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. So uh, the students coming out of the bootcamp will be able to like uh, be blockchain engineers and uh, being able to program uh, decentralized applications on the Ethereum blockchain. Um, so they can. Um, we'll be building a series of projects throughout the way. Um, some of them will be like putting information such as license information onto uh, their own DAP, and then. Um, also a voting system, um, and then also um, like ICOs and things like that as well. Yeah, so ERC-20 token, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I hear that um, that people that sign up for the course can actually go back and do it over and over again if they want to. Is that correct? Yeah, definitely. Um, so that's one of the great things about the course. Yeah, so uh, many of our past students just come back and then just want to see some of the new stuff. But we're always adding up new stuff in there, always exploring because it's a changing field, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. Well, um, really good luck with that, and um, I'll keep promoting it for you. Cool. Thanks so much. Okay. Yeah.